All right, we're here with 2023 Scotts Bluff offensive lineman Brock Knutson, who played his junior season at Mitchell, which uh, Mitchell was class C2? Uh, C1. C1, yeah. so you're going to make the jump up to class B. Um, let's first start there. Uh, what what kind of led do you want to kind of take the jump up in competition going into your senior season? Um, it was mostly for academics. You know, like Mitchell's like more of a smaller school, and Scotts Bluff a uh, offers a lot of college classes. So uh, I can get all my remedials done before I go to the college level. And possibly graduate early yeah. and things like uh -huh. that as well. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and you came in today at 6'7", 286. Um, talk about your skill set because you've got a frame that a lot of colleges have already taken notice of and, and, and see a lot of potential. Um, well, it all started out uh, my freshman year when I started working out with uh, our trainer. His name's Isaac Holscher. And I was just kind of like a fat tub of lard back then. <laughs> and he really started uh, developing my footwork, you know, getting faster feet. And then it was more uh, being able to move a lot of weight fast. So like me, obviously being a big guy, I need to be able to carry my weight, but also be able to be agile with it and be able to move in multiple directions to be a, a agile offensive lineman. How have you seen, so have you lost weight over the years or have you just kind of stayed the same and reshaped it? Uh, no, I actually gained a lot. So my freshman year, I wrestled heavyweight at only 200 pounds. So that was a, kind of a, deal, a big deal for me. I lost in the heartbreaks at districts. And then after that, I started uh, eating a lot. Like that was Isaac's biggest thing is I need to eat, 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 just to try and get bigger because he was always telling me, like, I have the frame, I just need the, the muscle to be able to compete at the next level. Uh-huh. And you got your first um, scholarship offers from Kansas I, or Kansas and Iowa State. And, 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 and kind of break down who's all offered you, like, your entire recruiting process right now. Uh, uh, after yesterday, I have uh, six offers. So Kansas was my first offer. I got them, uh, I think, the week before playoffs started. So... That, that was really exciting, you know, just more motivation for me to work harder and get better and just play at the next level. And then after that, I got uh, North Dakota State. I went up and took a visit there. Really liked that. Uh, Coach Entz, he pulled me aside and offered me then. And then after that, I got, I don't know, I think who offered me next. I don't know, there's a list. Iowa State? I was, oh yeah, it was Iowa State, because it was the day before Thanksgiving. So I went to Iowa State and uh, Coach Myers offered me then, and then it was Colorado State. They offered me. I went on a visit there after my uh, junior day at Iowa State just recently. And then uh, Miami of Ohio offered me, let's see, Friday on my drive up to South Dakota State. And then just yesterday, South Dakota State offered. So six offers, and, you know, you, you talk about your location. It's obviously hard for people to come see you. Yeah. How exciting is it to already have this start down and now you're really just trying to you know add some more and make a decision it feels like uh, that, was, that was a big thing uh, obviously exposure was hard for me at Mitchell um, I had to do a lot of work on Twitter sending out my film I was my dad told me he's like just follow every coach and message him is like just I, I wrote up a little like kind of resume about myself and then sent it to everybody so what um now you've got these six offers You've been in Nebraska. I saw you had a game there this year. Um, where else have you been that hasn't offered you yet at this point? Like, who are the other teams that are really that you're looking uh, I at? I took a game day visit to Kansas State, and uh, I have another visit there. Uh, I think it's March 5th. Or no, I have Wyoming March 5th, so that's next week. And they, that's another school that hasn't offered. Um, they don't offer anybody until – this month actually the junior so day they don't offer anybody in the 2023 class until after the they're completely done with the previous class so hopefully i'll pick up an offer there this weekend and then k-state after that what is when you start to look at your priorities what are you looking for the most i mean is it location is it the the line coach is it the head coach is it the academics like what are your kind of priorities right now um i'm really a family-based guy so uh, making it feel like home and like a family oriented like program is really big on that. And then just coaches 
showing like I don't know like effort towards recruiting me is a big thing. I feel like Iowa State's done a great job doing that. Um, their head coach Matt Campbell came out to my school and visited with me there, and uh, he uh, is a really great guy. So like, Matt I, Campbell, I love his philosophies. He came to Scotts Bluff or Mitchell. Scotts Bluff. I mean that had to be a big deal to yeah. have a head coach go. Yeah, out he there. him uh, him and then the tight ends coach flew into into the into the Scotts Bluff. Wow. So like that, I mean, you gotta at that point say I'm a priority if if they're flying the private jet and to come oh, yeah, see definitely. one guy in Scotts Bluff. Uh huh. So that I don't know that that was just really special to me. Made me feel like they were prioritizing me as a player. It really made me feel like they wanted me to go play for them. And then locally, Nebraska, like, what are you hearing from them at this point? I mean, a new offensive line coach came in, Riola, a new coordinator, kind of almost a whole new offensive staff. I mean, do you have an idea where you stand with them right now? Uh, coach Riola wants me to come to the spring game, and then me and uh, Coach Barrett Rude talk pr- probably once a week. You know, we're in contact pretty close. And then uh, Sean Dillon and I talk like, reg- pretty regularly. So is it more you think they're just trying to figure out their, their their numbers and their board before they make a decision on a guy like you? Um, so I talked to, uh, he's a, I think he's a tight end at Bellevue West, and he said that they kind of slow played him, so I don't know if they're doing the same thing with me, but I was hoping for an offer from Nebraska. Uh-huh. Did you grow up a Nebraska fan? Or oh, like, yeah. So, so uh, we actually have a big, huge, it's like a 28-foot uh, gooseneck. That's got uh, two flat iron grills, a smoker, and then like six coolers on the side. That's all decked out in Nebraska. Like it's got uh, <laughs> Tommy Frazier's signature, Tom Osborne's signature. It's got all of the cha- championship team signatures all over it. So it's pretty cool. So yeah, you, what you're saying is you don't want to have to repaint that thing. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, and you know, moving forward, you said you're going to be at the spring game. Like, do you have a busy? I mean, your spring and summer, I'm guessing, is going to be really busy. Oh yeah. Because you're recruiting. Really, the window is now to to July, really, right? I mean, you, are you a guy that's going to make a decision before the start of your senior year? Um, most likely. So I have a the I'm going to the spring game in Missouri. Hopefully, get my first SEC offer. You know. That's like the most elite conference in the Power Five schools, so an SEC offer would be huge for me. And then, so I'm going to the spring game at Missouri on March 18th or 19th, I'm not sure. Um, and then, obviously, the spring game in Nebraska. And then, just some practices for other schools. Um, Minnesota contacted me, and then one of my dad's buddies uh, contacted a coach at LSU for me, so hopefully, contact from LSU here soon. So you guys are just having fun. I mean, this has got to be a lot of fun growing up in western Nebraska, having all this going on. And, I mean, just uh, are, are you guys enjoying the process right now? Yeah, uh, it was super busy for a while there. The dead period, or the February dead period was really nice. Kind of just got to stay at home and chill for a while. You know, going being gone every weekend was tough because, like, I, I love to hang out with my friends and my family. So it was nice just to be able to kind of stay at home in my hometown and just relax for a month. You gonna throw the shot and disc this year? Oh yeah, definitely. So uh, track practice actually starts tomorrow, Monday. Um, so hopefully get in, throw some weight around there. 